Until now, I've always enjoyed going out at night. No, not like partying or anything. Though I have done that. I'm talking about going outside at night. Biking past the roads and parks. Watching the fireflies and the deer walking through the suburbs. Seeing the moon's reflection fade off lakes and rivers. I especially enjoyed it during the summer, when the humid air that would burn against the day blankets you against the coolness of the night. One thing I always especially loved was to walk through the woods or farm, with deer stand in the complete blackness, avoiding vague shadows and outlines until I found my stand, watching as the sun slowly rose and lit the heavens above, and then the world below. I would like to say I was the only one enjoying these moments, but when you're out in the dark, as your vision fades and your hearing takes over, you notice things you didn't notice before, and they notice you too. I suppose the first strange thing that happened to me was back in 2014, when I went on my second deer hunting trip. My dad dropped me off at the trail in the neck of the woods. The moment his headlights dipped over a nearby hill, I felt like I was being watched. And I swear, I saw a pair of green beady eyes, barely illuminated by the fading tail lights. It was either options being a five mile hike back to the cabin or calling my dad back. I chose to walk to the deer stand. I wish I hadn't. The entire way, I couldn't shake the feeling I was being watched. Usually the dark was a comfort to me, now it seemed engulfing, consuming me. Occasionally I would hear the rustling of leaves in the woods from what seemed to be a large creature. Sometimes it would sound like something the size of a deer was running through. At that time, I really thought it was a deer, and trying to calm myself, I thought, well, at least that should be good for hunting. I eventually came across a fork in the trail. My deer stand was to the left, so I went that way. It was only a short distance, but the closer I got, the more I felt like I was being watched. And at one point, I swear, I felt a humid breast down my neck. I turned around, and there was nothing. I didn't see any deer that day. The forest was eerily silent. Not even the squirrels rustled through the leaves and trees. The next year I went hunting in the woods again, and I felt the same feeling as I had before. The feeling I was being watched. Quickly walking down the trail, it wasn't long before I came across the deer stand. A wooden construct with four walls around the top to act as blinds. There I waited for the sun to rise, the dawn slowly illuminating the trail before me. And at this point, I had already loaded my gun. As I waited for the first beam of light to emerge from the rising sun, I noticed it. Far down the trail, a silhouette of a deer poked out, and I raised my rifle and looked through my scope. It was not a deer. It was a mockery of a deer, along its spine, small spiking antlers like those on the young buck lined its back. Large fangs hung from its jaw and instead of antlers, it had horns like a ram. That's when I noticed it was looking right at me. That's when I fired. The bullet blew its head half off, and I expected it to drop. It just simply walked away, its horns blown off, and only its lower jaw from what used to be its mouse hanging there. I don't know how, but it chuckled and left. After that, every time I walked the woods at night, I always had my gun loaded, unlike loading it once I got up to the deer stand like was customary, but the next time I would see the not deer as I had named them was on my relative's farm. The relatives on my mom's side of the family were farmers and owned a lot of farmland that was great for deer hunting, especially since the corn made them taste so rich. I was walking out to the deer stand early before the morning sun again. The moment the car left, I felt that same feeling as I did from the woods, and I started running towards my stand. I could hear something the size of a deer running behind me as well. Once I got to the stand, I looked behind me, 
I saw some branches rustling about 50 feet behind me, and I quickly bolted up. Looking down from the stand, I didn't see or hear anything else. I hid in my stand, only poking out my head when the sun began to rise. And that's when I saw it again. Or should I say them? There were three of them out in the field. Antlers arising from the wrong places. Features like horse hooves where there should have been deer hooves. I quickly did something I now regret. I fired at its heart. I saw it taking out its heart. Would kill it. It did. The other two noticed and let out a call. More came. I tried to kill more. I fired off the rest of my shots one by one, but they just kept coming. That's when I started writing this post. They're now circling around my deer stand. They've taken the skin of what appears to be a deer, and they're now climbing up the stand. Please don't be like me. Be wary of what's in the dark. And if you see things that are not deer, ignore them.